Hi everyone, it's Gil, Close Call Sports. I just really wanted to, to hit on really quickly our post-game processing effect. Now that the first day is done, the second day has begun, and we've talked about UFLFX 3.0's new feature that we're doing a preliminary number the first day, and then the day after when the scores are revised by the computer over at MLB Advanced Media, we are coming out with a final number. This is the reason right here is why you're not going to have robot umpires in baseball right now. You can't do a computer right now calling pitches in real time. They're not going to tell you this, but I'll tell you it. Because the computer can't call vertical zones in real time. And we just had our first evidence because we did preliminary numbers the first day and announced the second day. We have final numbers. We have evidence the computer doesn't know how to call pitches in real time. Let's go to the tape. This is what we have. We have four umpires. We hypothesize that the post-game processing effect would be net positive or perhaps neutral for the umpires. That's exactly what we saw. And what that means is that the computer in real time gave a number a score, and then after the fact, overnight, the computer adjusted itself. It said, you know what? The computer is talking to itself. And the computer said, you know what? I did not see those pitches right. Let me go back and review them and adjust my scores accordingly. And it did. And guess what happened when it did? It said the umpire was actually more accurate than previously thought. It's exactly what we thought would happen. In three of the four games, umpires went up. In the fourth game, it was a plus zero, which is a neutral effect, so it didn't go up nor down. This is exactly why the computers can't call pitches in real time. Specifically, let's talk about the last game of the day. Let's talk about the New York-Cleveland game. Jordan Baker was the plate umpire, and the computer initially in real time preliminarily called him as 163 out of 166, or 98.2% accurate. He was 1.8% accuracy away from perfection. So the inverse of 98.2 is 1.8. So let's talk about the inverse. Mark Williams at Boston U calls it the BCR, or bad call ratio. So we're going to go with BCR for now because it's easier to illustrate this point. The BCR for Baker was 1.8% in real time, preliminary. After post-game processing, the computer said, you know what, instead of 163 out of 166, he actually got 165 out of 166 pitches correctly, and they revised the score up to 99.4% overall accuracy or, or a BCR of 0.6%. So think about it this way. The initial BCR was 1.8%. The final BCR for Baker was 0.6%. That is incredibly significant. The computer essentially went to Baker's game and said initially that he missed three pitches. After post-game processing, the computer said, you know what, he actually only missed one pitch. That is a 66.6 .6 bar percent decrease in, in his inaccuracy rate. That is extremely significant. If there are only three pitches that he possibly missed and the computer goes back and says, you know what, actually, he got those two of those three pitches correct, that right there illustrates why the computer cannot call balls and strikes in real time right now. It just doesn't have confidence in itself to make that call because after the game, overnight, when it goes back and double checks itself, it says, you know what, actually, the umpire was right. Two of the three, if two out of the three error rate for a computer is really bad. It's, it's essentially a failure rate in any industry to have two out of three mistakes when it matters. So this is just an illustration of what we were talking about with post-game processing. And maybe, 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 maybe you'll be able to see what, what this is going forward as we do more preliminary versus final numbers. When the computer says preliminarily the umpire got this score and then after the fact quietly without telling anyone raises the umpire scores these aren't our numbers these are baseball's numbers all we're doing is compiling them and presenting them into a way that is easy for you to read with a final score and it's very easy to expose what's going on no one's going to talk about it because it's really not that popular to talk about but this is precisely the reason the computer can't call balls and strikes at least not yet it just isn't accurate enough to do it in real time like and it, like it pretends that umpires yes me or maybe or may not be whatever have you anywho we're, we're going to be doing a lot more of this analysis throughout the postseason but i did want to update you on what the preliminary versus final the pre versus post game processing effect was and to see it in action and i hope that it helps illustrate that concept for you if you have any questions visit us online at closecallsports.com we'll see you on the site and i'm sure we'll be back here at some point during the postseason to talk about something else